What's going on YouTube? We're gonna get into a short video talking about the top 10 cryptocurrency that are gonna make you rich. Um, maybe might do just a part two because it's gonna be pretty long, but um, ironically, this video is pretty funny because I made the same exact video this time last year, and guess what? Every single video that I made on every single cryptocurrency that I said would go up, went up tremendously. Starting from Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Everything that I listed in the last video from last time has gone up extremely high in value. So the number one cryptocurrency that I got into that I realized went up and skyrocketed, which I told you guys would skyrocket, is Solana. Solana, when I told you guys to originally invest, was only at $8 per share, whatever you want to say, per share, unit, whatever. And now it's almost at $100. It, all, it went up all the way to 126 But I said last year that it would get to that. So off of that cryptocurrency alone, I've made six figures. Now, you guys literally seen when I invested before my previous TikTok got deleted, I made another video saying that you guys should invest into Solana. I told you guys about Ethereum Classic. I told you guys about Bitcoin. I told you guys about Shiba. I used to get a lot of hate on Shiba last year. Shiba has gone up as well. Dogecoin has gone up as well. All the cryptocurrencies that people used to make fun of me about and I said would go up have went up. So. Let's give a good takeaway from this. Whatever I say in this video, I highly, I highly, highly, highly advise that you invest into it as soon as possible, honestly. You're gonna make tremendous amounts of money by doing absolutely nothing except for watching the market go up. I definitely say for the top tips on when it comes to investing and taking out the money, most people ask, when should you be taking out the money? Before I even get into what to invest into, let's just talk about like the basics itself. Like what is crypto? When to take out money? Where can you invest? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when should you be taking out your money from cryptocurrency? You should be taking out money from cryptocurrency when you see an amount that you're not used to. So and that's how I look at it. Because cryptocurrency, regardless of how we feel, is definitely volatile. It's a great investment, but it's volatile. And I don't think it's a long-term investment. I think it's a short-term investment where you should invest into, take your profits, get back into the game when you feel comfortable doing so with an amount that you're not afraid of losing. So I've even had people, and this is why I say take out the amounts that you're comfortable with losing. I've had people literally invest, let's say, $1,000. They ended up making $10,000. They didn't take out the money. Cryptocurrency goes down. Now they only can take out $4,000, the rest of the $10,000. So if you've seen $10,000 and you're like, man, I would really be happy with this. Take it out. There's nobody that has been mad about taking out profits. That's a great quote that somebody told me. So if you take out $10,000, you made $9,000 profit. Yes, there's a possibility that it could have went up higher and you could have got some more money out of, but at least take out the amount that you like, or at least take out your original investment, or maybe double your original investment. And then, I mean, honest to God, cryptocurrency and investing to this point is somewhat a gamble because there's a lot of stuff that isn't backed by cryptocurrency anymore. Um, it's just mostly based off of people investing. Um, some cryptocurrencies are used for different things. There are some exchange rules that have to you know go in place before you can really see if some cryptocurrencies go up because there's a lot of restrictions on cryptocurrencies because the uh, amount of money that's involved with it, the amount of people that have gotten rich off of it, and people's lives just changing in general. Um, however, yeah, so, I mean, even story for myself, which I've told before, there was a moment in time where I had a cryptocurrency go up to, you know, almost mid seven figures and I didn't take out the money. I left it in there and I lost so much potential money because at the end of the day, you only lose what you had in your bank account. So um, there was potential money that I lost. And I always said this since that day that, okay, you know what, if I see an amount that's crazy, like if I see a million dollars, if I see... 100k profit i'm just gonna take it out honestly yes there's a possibility that it could have turned into more but would you want to take that chance of losing money that you could have had um but once again when you start making more money you can start you know taking more risks taking more gambles with the stuff like that however if you see some money that you've never seen before definitely recommend you take it out now on top of that for the new people that are subscribed to my channel thank you for 18k subscribers on the youtube and uh 360k followers on tiktok and 100k on ig but anyways Back, I got to get back to the basics, guys. I know there's people that uh, already know this stuff, but I want to get back to the basics for the new people. Um, where can you invest on? I mean, me personally, I prefer using Coinbase, Robinhood. Those are my two go-tos, honestly. And those are the two platforms that I definitely recommend people to use. And mostly because you're almost pretty much set in it's FDIC in short. So if you guys remember that guy, the Sam guy in crypto, where he made that platform, he got a whole bunch of people to invest. It wasn't backed by the government. It wasn't backed by anything. Um, it was less fees, a whole bunch of stuff going on with that. And there were billions of dollars scammed, billions of dollars lost. Um, 
yeah, that could be your money if you don't go to a company that's uh, U.S. That, that, that basically the government is involved with to protect its people. So if you want to go to these companies outside of regulation, I mean, yeah, you can take any chance and risk your money because some people don't like Robinhood, they don't like Coinbase because the fact that the government's involved. But I mean, at least your money's insured. I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't want to go to a company and have millions to hundreds of thousand dollars and your money's not insured. Now, don't get me wrong. Let people in the comments say, oh, only a quarter million is insured. Well, I mean, yeah. Would you rather a quarter million insured or, or versus nothing insured? I mean, I, I'm just saying. That's me personally. So you can use those things. It's on Android. It's on Apple Store. You can go download it and invest into it. Um, I mean, it's pretty easy. Connect your bank. Um, Robinhood used to not be able to use your debit card, but now they added a feature where you can use your debit card. That's why in my previous video, I used to say I like Coinbase over Robinhood because Coinbase used to allow you to attach your debit card and credit card, but now you can do the same on Robinhood, so that's a good to go. Yes, you have to be over the age of 18. If you're not over the age of 18, you will have to probably use a parent or you know an older sibling. However, that's a bit risky too. You may want to wait because at the end of the day, that money is in their hands. But if you trust them and they're going to give you your money, if your money blows up and you get uh, six figures, and maybe they may get greedy and say, hey, I don't want to give you... Yeah, I'm just saying, definitely be cautious on doing that. Um, on top of that, let's get into the main things at hand of what to invest into. I'm going to change this from top five to top 10 to top five because I feel like I'm rambling on, but I want to get straight into the point and why you should invest. Number one on my list is going to be Solana. And what do, what's my prediction on Solana? What do I think is going to happen? I genuinely believe Solana is going to get to $500 by the end of next year, honestly. And I said, you know, the crazy thing is last year, I said that this year it would cost at least $100. You can literally go back to my video. Um, and go look and I said that already and it did and whoever actually listened to that made so much money I had so many people DM me text my phone bro. I made so much money I've had guys make six figures I had a couple of people make 10,000 plus plenty of money made on Solana I'm just saying you guys should definitely invest into it and you're gonna make a lot of money off of it Even right now people are saying oh, it's $90. Should I still invest? Yes, you should because at the end of the day you're gonna make money Number two, Ethereum Classic, making a killing right now. These are cryptocurrencies where it's not like Bitcoin, where you have to invest in uh, crazy amounts of money to make a lot of money. You should definitely invest into Ethereum Classic. I've made a lot of money on Ethereum, Cla Ethereum Classic in the past and right now as we speak. I'm still making money on Ethereum Classic. I actually plan on investing another 100K into Ethereum Classic just to see what happens with it. Going from there, on top of that, because also that goes up when the regular Ethereum goes up. Ethereum right now is sitting at $2,300,000. Now that's a lot of money if you're just an average Joe just trying to get into it. Um, and that's just for one you know, share, whatever. But on top of that, I think that Ethereum, Ethereum Classic will get to probably, I want to say 250 by the end of next year. Ethereum itself, I believe by the end of next year, will get to about it's hard to say with that one, honestly, but me personally with a, you know, an educated prediction, I think that Ethereum, the regular Ethereum will probably get to around $5,000, maybe, maybe on a great year, phenomenal year, maybe 10000 but honestly, I just think $5,000 is where it's going to be at, honestly. On top of that, a cryptocurrency that doesn't require a lot of money to get into and you can get a lot of shares right now, Polkadot. I don't know why nobody's not talking about this. This is the, what, most the eighth most popular cryptocurrency and on the crypto platforms. I don't see why people aren't investing into this more. And it's not that expensive. Right now, it's about, it's fluctuating between $5 to $8 per share. The high of Polkadot was $53. So right now, you could literally invest, let's say you invested eight grand right now. If it went to, if it went to um, $53, that eight grand would literally turn into almost a hundred grand. Why are you not investing into that? That's so much money that you can potentially make, like literally, literally so much money you can potentially make. Um, you definitely want to invest into that as well. On top of that, we have Litecoin. Litecoin is another cryptocurrency. And it's not L-I-G-H-T, it's L-I-T-E, Litecoin. You guys should definitely invest into that cryptocurrency as well. Going up, it's making money. I ain't made a lot of money off of Litecoin as well, but, um, you know, it fluctuates. But on top of that, I think that, you know, I don't think that people should be investing into Bitcoin right now. Let me tell you why. Um, unless you're willing to drop millions of dollars into it or, you know, even a half a million dollars, it's kind of no point because that money you can put into a lower cost in cryptocurrency and make so much more money back. I'm just saying, that's my personal opinion, because I know a lot of people are going to ask, should you still invest into um, Bitcoin? I mean, you can, I mean, I guess, but let's say you invested $500. 
um, and it goes to 100K, that $500 is only gonna turn to $1,000. But if you invested $500 into a cryptocurrency that was a lot cheaper, you end up making $5,000 to $10,000. You end up making so much more money. Going forward, what else should you be investing into? Chainlink is another one that people need to invest into. Literally, even speaking with my tattoo artist, if he's even watching, a shout out to you, um, and just having a discussion about how that one is going to go up. It's going to continue to go up, and it's making a lot of people money right now. You should definitely invest into that as well. However, that is all for this video. We're going to get into the next video at a later date, um, and I'm going to speak on a whole bunch of stuff when it comes to investing and it comes to the investments you should make. Um, I definitely say on top of that, you guys should definitely look into stocks as well. I'll have a separate video on that, but this is just a video I wanted to just get back into the rhythm of just making a video, posting a video. I'm not even on my new camera right now. I'm literally making this video on my phone just to force myself to stay consistent with the YouTube stuff. Um, I definitely say I wrote up my goals. I definitely want to have at least a quarter million followers on YouTube by the end of this year. So I got to post consistently. You guys aren't going to mess with me if I'm not consistent. So I'm going to come consistent with the knowledge. I'm going to start adding in vlogs, showing the cars off, showing off me shopping, whatever the case may be, traveling the world. Um, and I'm going to have special guest appearances on here, different influencers you guys like, stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much it for right now. I definitely appreciate you guys watching my video. Bangs two times out. And if, you, and, if, and if anything, you want a crypto mentorship, definitely DM me on IG, Bangs one time, or the only Bangs, and I'll definitely respond when I can. I appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.